what growth do you think you've made from year one till now? Uh, what I can say is, I, like this spring, I've been at corner and star. So I've been working like a lot of uh, positions and a lot of, I've been put in a lot of situations uh, to help the team. So this spring has been okay and very good for me. I can say that. So that's what has been going on so far. You think about just kind of your first year and how everything went. For you, what was the biggest takeaway in terms of areas where you thought you did well? And for you, what became those areas where you felt like you needed to improve? Uh, areas I think I, that I needed to improve on, like I'll be right there on defense, but the catch will be, yeah, I'd make a catch. So I'll say just finishing through the play because uh, I'll be right there, as you can see. So I'll say just finishing out through, through, through the play. A lot of young guys like yourself were kind of thrown in the fire last year mm -hmm. with, with so many injuries. How beneficial was that time on the field? And was there a point that you kind of started to, to feel comfortable or, or more confident out there? Yeah, I feel everything happens for a reason. So uh, me being out there and thrown into the fire was uh, nothing new to me uh, because I'm so competitive and around everyone else that's competitive with me. So just being out there with those guys, man, it was nothing new. I just knew I had to become a new role. So that's what I done. You dealt with an injury yourself last year, right? Yeah. How much did that complicate for you? Uh, coming in, you know, I had plans to come in and try to be a freshman All-American and all the big, big things going on. But, you know, it, it hurt me a lot but with injuries. So, I mean, last year was a, a really sad situation for me. But, you know, I had to man up and just sit back, take a look back and just relax and just tell myself that, you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. Uh, so maybe it wasn't my time for me to uh, shine right there. Maybe I had to sit back and really learn through the playbook and not get out there and get embarrassed or exposed. So, like I said, everything happens for a reason. And that's basically it. You mentioned you wanted to learn how to finish, finish plays. I guess how do you practice that? How have you worked on that this, this spring? What are things that you're doing there? Yeah, working on finishing plays, uh, ball skills, uh, all the individual drills that Coach Kelly has us do what the DB is doing. So just basically all, a lot of ball skills. You were you were close a lot. Is that at least encouraging that you were right there to make plays? Like you weren't super far off. I guess how do you how do you take that? How do you build on it? I, mean, I take that. I can give up like a five yard pass. I'd just be mad uh, just because I just don't want nobody to catch the ball on me. Uh, so you know that's why I've been working really hard on the spring ball, finishing through plays, being a lockdown corner or nickel back that everyone wants me to be in is where I want to be. You know to show everyone else what I can do. So. Are you working in a similar position you you end up playing or? I mean, I really don't know. I love playing corner because that's, that's just a good, I love playing corner, but uh, the star position here at Florida State is one of the hardest positions that anyone can play, but people don't really uh, realize that. You know, you, you blitzing, you covering, uh, you're doing a lot of man under type of deals. Uh, I like playing star, I feel I feel versatile, like you know, uh, how LaMarcus Jordan played, uh, Ty Matthew played at LSU. Uh, there's a lot of uh, great guys, like Jalen Ramsey played it too as well, so you, you, you're, you're gonna be in a lot of great plays and situations, make plays. Uh, so I really don't know yet. It's just whatever Coach Kelly feels like I can be the best at that position and help the team. Do you guys want Francois 